Haley Kinsel, Catula, Texas. She's placed in both rounds. She's already won over $40,000. Keep doing it, Haley, keep doing it. Atta girl, at a girl. Come on, ladies. One, two, three. I had some wonderful kid horses to start out on. Horses that I never felt scared on, I always felt confident on, and just kind of stepped up and stepped up. And when I was 13, I had my first real barrel horse that basically for us that means can't be used on the ranch. She was off the track and she was one that mom and I kind of brought along together and I rode her all through high school and she was wonderful. I still have her today and breed her. and. Um, she got hurt going into college, so I rode my pole bending horse for a little bit at the college rodeos in the barrels and found TJ, my backup horse now, uh, during college and I made the college finals on him three years of having him and he's who I filled my permit on and uh, made my first check on my card. So he's kind of the reason I even got my feet wet in pro rodeo and along that time is when we had bought Sister as a, as a colt and we trained her. And Mom and I have always brought up young horses together and trained a few and we did buy a couple to fill in the gaps but she was one that we worked on ourselves all the way through. She's by De Niro, PC Frenchman's heyday. I grew up watching De Niro and Sherry and so I always loved De Niro and I never rode one. We bought her because we had an older half-sister to her that we just loved out of the Royal Shankham mare. And so we kind of tried to find that lineage and follow that broodmare bloodline and thought, well, if she's crossed over the narrow, this could be good. This, this might be okay. And took a chance on her a little bit and bought her as a two-year-old and she was definitely paid off. I graduated from Texas A&M University last May. I had a degree in Ag Economics, Finance, and Real Estate. Um, I knew I wanted to do something Ag and business related. I didn't know exactly what until I got into college and just kind of fell in love with the Econ department and uh, that's how my brain works, so it made sense to me. My dad's a real estate broker, so I knew enough about that track to go that way. And finance is not something I'm good at, but it's something I needed to be better at. And my long-term goal is to have my own breeding and training operation uh, started by me, run by me. And that will come at the end of rodeoing, whenever that is. But I wanted to have a strong business plan for that, be able to make money doing that and be smart about it. So if I can use my college degree in that direction, I think I could you know, have a stake in the industry. 2017, I was graduating college in May, so I did not have a plan to make the NFR. My goal was to get into the top 30 so that this coming year, 2018, I could try and I'd be able to get into the winter rodeo, San Antonio, maybe Houston, and have a better shot at making the NFR. So I had 15,001 by the end of the spring, going into the summer, and uh, was just planning to go over to fourth and see how we did, try and get in that top 30 range. And I had about 45,001 after the 4th of July. I had a really great June and July, and then I went to Salt Lake to the days of 47, and it was the first and the only year that it was a PRCA rodeo where they paid 50,000, and we won that. So it doubled our earnings overnight at the end of July. And I, at that point, I, we knew where I was making the finals, and so my plans kind of changed. I went to a few more rodeos, but not much. I went home and just kind of sat on the fact that we just made the NFR. We weren't trying that time. Sister and I are very close. I knew her like the back of my hand, and coming from, from having her from so young and just spending every day with her, I feel like I know her every move. And that arena record night, she just felt different. She was really focused, and so. I knew I could just trust her totally and not worry about a thing, and I did. And she really is that fast and that athletic, and I can't take credit for that. Some horses just have it, and she has that it factor. And I had had two good runs leading up to it, and it was the third round of the NFR, and I, I, I was kind of messing up my third round the first couple nights, just not riding it all the way through. She slipped on night two, so I thought, well, man, if I could just get everything together. She'd already been fast, and it ran two 13 sixes, so I thought, if I could put this together perfect, she could be really fast. Now, I had not, never imagined that fast. I'm thinking like a four, maybe a three if I'm lucky. So to be that fast, I still can't say how we pulled that off, I don't know. <laughs> You know, my parents have always been really influential in, with my horses and just making me a better person, allowing me to homeschool so that I could 
do better than the schools around here offered is the same mindset that I had going into college. If it wasn't for that foundation they laid, I wouldn't have put near as much work into my schoolwork at college. And um, same with rodeo, and they they gave me the tools to to do what I wanted to do, but they didn't make it easy on me or anything. And for that reason, I learned to make the best of what I had, and that goes for every little thing but especially each individual horse just bringing them to their full potential and my mom and I still ride together every day when I'm home and my dad's still very supportive and likes to go and watch and help when he can too so it's fun it's nice to be able to do it with them I have a great relationship with my family my brother is the most supportive person out there and he doesn't have as much involvement with horses and he has his own job but he'll still show up in a suit coat to watch barrel race if he can and so having those people in my life make a big difference. I grew up watching Charmaine and so I always loved Charmaine and Scamper and Sherry Servies, my, my all-time idol and her and Lisa Lockhart both I watched in recent years and then get to run with them now and that was surreal for me. I remember at the American last year in 2017 in the Longo, I drew up right between them. And I don't know if it would have mattered if I won the American. I was so happy to run in between Sherry and Lisa. I, I was just stoked. So rodeoing for me was more, always more than a hobby. I never wanted it to be a hobby that I just put money into. I started even in high school, really keeping my books and keeping track of what I was doing because I didn't want it to be just passively, oh, this is where I spend my money. I wanted it to be productive. Um, I wanted it to be a business for me long term. And it's what I love to do, it really is. It's what I want to do every day. So if I can find a way to make money at it, wonderful. And it's definitely, and that comes back to, it's not even about the money. There's no way you can try too hard to make money at this sort of sport because it is tough, but in the end, I'd rather be dirt poor and rodeoing and trying to make the right decisions than working a nine to five and doing this for fun.